in just a little while, I figured I would get out and do a little quick trash looking, just in case. You never know. Today is a Thursday, and I kept my grand littles this morning for my daughter to go to her second baby doctor appointment. today we have a very active very healthy baby being created and so we are excited about that we always are a little anxious until she comes back from especially that second visit because she actually got to see the movements of the baby and things today so she is right at 12 weeks expecting. So I kept the little ones for her to do that and run a couple of errands and I listed on eBay and got some things ready to photograph this afternoon but I started looking at the sky after she got back and I was like mm, I better get outside and get this done. I don't go every day but usually this little neighborhood that I'm in right now. In fact I have y'all way back don't I? I'm sorry little neighborhood that I'm in right now <clears throat> sometimes it's hot sometimes it's cold and it's a little early it's about a quarter to four so a lot of people haven't pulled their trash down normally I would go after people had gotten off work about five or six o'clock because that's when they get out of their cars and they run down the driveway and pull the trash down for the next morning and that way they don't have to get out again but since it looked like it might rain we've got sunshine right now but it's starting to cloud up in the east so probably be moving this way soon so I had to let my phone cool off for a minute I was picking through trying to find anything that looked bohemian or something that was similar to the things that I sell pretty consistently. I did pull out some things. Some of them were damp because the rain had already gotten to them a little bit earlier. And I think maybe a dog had gotten to one or two things that was in there. So I'm going to wash all of them in an enzyme cleaner and that should get any scent or residue out. If not, I'll toss them had some pretty good brands in there and stuff and I just wasn't going to leave them on the side of the road. I would have liked to have taken the whole pile because people can use clothing whether I can or not. So. But you know, it is what it is. So I thought I'd come back and show you uh, the pile of things that I got off the road. I've washed it with enzyme cleaner. That's the only thing that's going to get the bacteria out. If there was pet urine or um, bodily odor uh, things like that out of any of the clothing. I used to own a cleaning company and I used enzyme cleaners a whole lot. So we always keep Otoban. I've got little boys, you know, so that we use it on the floors in our bathrooms and things. So I already had some here, but I just um, did that and it doesn't add any kind of scent to the clothes or anything like that. And so uh, a lot of these that I pulled off the road, um, it was just to salvage them. You know, if somebody needed them, um, I would give those away or whatever. There's going to be a few things in there that I can sell, but uh, mostly I did it just to show you that, you know, people throw away a whole bunch of stuff. And I just figured I would show you, you know, what I ended up getting out of that one trash pile. There's times that I pull away bags and bags and bags of clothing after somebody has either been evicted from a home and uh, the sheriff's department have done their job and the owners have pulled things out of there or a foreclosure has happened on a home um, unfortunately you know there are piles like that and you have no way of knowing you know where they come from a lot of times people will get done with a yard sale and they're just finished and that's kind of what this looked like um, not quite sure there were some other items that were there that um, I ended up pulling off too but I'm not going to show those in the video. They're too large, but um, I'll take those to my next estate. But these are just some of the things. I'm not going to necessarily tell you the sizes or the brands, but it was mostly mall brands like uh, or things from Target, things like that, like Mossimo and things. So, yeah, I pulled off this little tunic. Whoop. I did everything really fast, as you can tell. I've still got arms coming through, but little tunic. 
drawstring or whatever, lightweight. I had about four items that I threw away because they just were too far gone to do anything with. Um, I may have to turn a lot of these sleeves out. But I just figured I'd show you this before I get them boxed up. I'll probably put a lot of these on Macari in a lot because they're all the same size. <clears throat> a few of the little boho style tops that I pulled out. Gave my daughter one dress that I won't show, but it was really cute. And it was her size, and she's an expectant mom, and it had some room in it. And she can wear it now, so. Like, this is Sag Harbor, you know, little dress. I looked, I didn't see burn holes or anything now on camera. When I'm doing the playback on this, I might see some stains that I don't see right now. But I haven't rechecked any of this. But had a few flannel shirts. Little turquoise. And all of these are women's clothes with the exception, I think, of one, I believe. Like, this is Mossimo, you know. Yeah, it's been cut off at the bottom or whatever. Um, I will probably just redonate things like that. I just wanted to get them clean before I redonate it. I just can't stand for stuff to go to the landfill if somebody can use it. Another little boho style top. Deadpool. <laughs> Taco shirt. Miss Tina by Tina Knowles. See, these are just cute little summery tops. This one is Austin Outfitters. And it's a cool top. It's got the exposed zipper trim on it somewhere, wherever it is. But it's kind of a, almost a southwestern style. Very heavy. Got a few pairs of shorts. Dress. A little flare bottom here. It took me a, probably a total of about 15 minutes to pull everything off, get it to the car, bag it up, you know, because I didn't want to put it in my car, you know, whip it wet and things like that. Um, had a few little kids stuff in there. This is a 4T, but my kids are all too big for it, so I'll just donate those. And by the time that I got everything washed up, I just threw it all in there. I didn't care whether it bled on each other or any of that. I just wanted to get it done and get out of there because I actually had washed my personal clothing for the day. And my daughter was going to need the washer the next day because we got lots of kids and stuff around here. And um, so I just threw everything in there. And there was only one shirt that came out that something bled on unless, you know, I run across something now. But uh, just in a quick look. Lots of little t-shirt type tops, things like that, that again will go in a donation pile. Some of the better items, you know, there might be three or four things that I might list as a single listing, but all of this is just going to go in a women's lot on Macari or something. These are cute little pants. Cute little design. Got a couple of, see this still has a tag. Old Navy pencil style skirt. Pull on. I got two of the one of those. No, two. This one's low two. And see, that's the same size. So I might do this in a double lot. You know, put two items in a lot on eBay or something. It's just Old Navy, so it's not gonna sell for much, but it's gonna sell for more than I paid for it. <laughs> Old Navy slouch front skirt. Tank top. 
also pulled off, I don't think I have it nearby. I pulled off a hat, no, yeah, just one hat out of this pile um, that was red, white, and blue that I'm going to wear it. Um, I thought it was over there. No, it's in the other room. I don't want to go get it. Um, it was a canvas style hat, denim canvas type of thing, and it's got the stars and the stripes and things on it, so I'll wear it on 4th of July. I got it washed up and everything. Oh, yeah, I do have it. Hold on. In the day, I used to put these on a pot upside down in the kitchen and dry them, but now I just put them on here. <laughs> it's still a little bumpy. I'll have to spray it again or whatever, but it's got really bright colors. Hard to tell on camera, but it's real cute. So I'll probably wear that on the 4th of July and then wear it to the pool. I would imagine. Several little overshirt type of things. Most of these, the sizes are like 14 to 16, extra large. And pretty much everything, like these pants are a 14. It's just a little casual dress slacks with a little flare. Little moss snow top, and it's got the button sleeve, you know, where you can roll the sleeve up. Short flare skirt. Columbia shorts. It's got a major PSD. Got a number on the back of mine. <laughs> Are. This one's got a couple of places I see on it. This is a baby one, so I'll probably just donate that one anyway. Little, little bears or dogs or something on the feet. Pull over top. This one has a spot here. Like I said, I just looked at them really quick, and it was about 3 o'clock in the morning when I got done, so... I didn't really look them over. So a lot of those will just go to get donation or I'll spot treat them. A lot of times I can get the spots out with a uh, baby wipe. I get, not a baby wipe, but a moist wipe. I get these from Dollar Tree. And you just pop that out and use it on something. You know, get the spots out and things like that. If something has been recently laundered but you didn't get the spot out, a lot of times that will take it out. People dress gear. And see, like this is a uh, this is exhilaration and XXL. Got a big pile down here. <laughs> Pretty skirt. Put that enzyme cleaner on it and take care of it. If you don't eat the bacteria, you don't eat the odor. And something like that. If it's anything that's bodily, you know, that takes care of blood, that takes care of a lot of things. Because you know how blood will get kind of a steely smell to it if it's in something. I used to do crime scene cleanup. This has something on the back here. So I'll try and get that out again. And if I don't, I'll just put it in that pile. I used to do crime scene cleanup, and so I learned a whole lot about enzyme cleaners and things like that. These are Chico's. Not anything spectacular, but they are Chico's. Yes, it's like a little lightweight sweater, size large. Pockets and stuff like that. This is nice. Wear or sundress or something in church. If it gets cool. This one. Yeah, most of these are XLs. This cute little skirt. It's got a split.
mostly dark colors. So of course, it's going to be any, any or so of it's going to be set in the fall, most likely. A little skirt here. French laundry brand skirt. I meant to count how many pieces I had. There's probably about, I want to say there's about 40 all together. Counting the few that I handed out to Samantha, my daughter, and that I threw away. This one. Soft. It's a nice material. Really soft. Almost feels like a cashmere or something. That's not, it feels like it. A buffalo top here. And this top was sticking out. This is what got me interested at first. And even going through the pile at all, because I thought, oh yeah, that's the kind of stuff I sell over and over and over. All of these patterned things and stuff are real hot right now. This cute little top. This one. Yeah, that's just a Massimo, but it's cute. Like a little dry fit style shirt. Crazy train. Ruby Road. I've sold that brand several times. It's got the overskirt. And a liner in there. This would be cute to square dance in. I may end up keeping that one. It's got a flare skirt on it. Let's see. How does this go? Hmm. There's the tag. And it's still got a tag on it. It's a little tube top style dress, it's a skirt, this is Express brand, now it's torn at the bottom, I'm going to see if I can repair that, and if I can't, this has got a surged edge on it, and I may just remove that trim. Or donate it. I don't know that it's worth my billable time. So that's one thing when you get ready to do something, you need to see what your billable time is. Every every minute of your day as a reseller or a business person at all is billable time. Just because you can fix something doesn't mean you should. There's a lot of times I sell things that have holes in them or saying, you know, it's got a rip in the seam, easy repair, blah, blah, blah. If I can't sell it that way, well, then I worry about repairing it later. But most of the time, I can sell it that way. I'll take a dollar or two off of what I would normally do, and I end up saving a lot of money because my billable time right now is at about $60 an hour on estates. So. This is the... Carnation Ball, Stanford University, 2012. Cool. Another little over sweater type of thing. There. Massimo. Yes, I'll probably touch an iron or two to it. This is Christopher and Brunnings. It's kind of a, almost has a fishing vest look to it, but it's a, you know, it's a fashion vest. Let's see. Zippers and things, that's kind of cool looking. A little 
little short seven eight shirt or a lot shirt. Seven eight shirt. This is not in style at all. It's got some spots on it. This is the exhilaration dress. This is cute. Let me show you the top and then I'll pull it up. Got a cute dress. It's got the fringe bottom. And these are kind of ragged out, but somebody will want them. This is kind of ragged out on these. Kind of over short denim. Another pair, pair of kids' pants. I'm not sure. Let's see. Choose 901 Memphis. 901 is an area code that's up in Memphis, so I imagine this was given out as some kind of promo thing or whatever. Somebody will want it. I sell all kinds of Memphis stuff that I would think wouldn't sell to somebody nationally, but it does. I never rule out much of anything. This one's an 1820 women's. It's Cato Woman. Unless got spots somewhere or something. This is an item that I would probably list out as an individual item. That, like the little dress that had the fringe, a couple of things like that. It was worth my time. This one, another brand, St. John's Bay. I've sold several um, by different places. I haven't, I don't think I've had a St. John's one or whatever, but this is the, just a real nice weight uh, maxi dress, sleeveless maxi dress. I've sold those several times. Sold a couple, like Poshmark, had, I had them on Poshmark and a couple of things on eBay. They sell both places. So. This needs an iron. <laughs> Just a little sleeveless garden. Grateful Dead. <laughs> Just a little nod to Grateful Dead there. This one is a hoodie. It doesn't have a tag. So probably I'll just put it in a lot and just put that it's untagged and I'll just do dimensions on that or that it looks like a medium. So it's probably about a medium. It's a large. This one. This is another Chico's piece. And it's an overshirt. I'll probably list this out. The pants I probably won't because they're kind of This probably would sell. Small brand. That feels good. I might keep that. I don't mind shopping if I haven't paid anything for it. <laughs> Buffalo check. What those are called buffalo check. You need a keyword. Yeah, where are you? Faded mm -hmm. glory. This is a 16, 18. Let's see how this goes. All right, this is one of the ones that's like the little tube. You can wear it as a tube dress or a skirt. Indianish. Little Charlotte Roost. She's a lover shirt. 
there. Then I also found this. This has got some pretty colors in it. This is like a, a wrap scarf type thing. It's got a place here where it's kind of let's see if I can show you. It's good than that because I can't hold everything up. But it's kind of I don't know if you can tell, but it's been pulled a little bit, but there's no hole there. So I'll just reveal that. But it's pretty. It's it's actually a lot prettier in person than on camera. I imagine this is the front side of it. That's pretty. Of course, it's got the fringe on the end. I'll sell that. It's about one purse. Actually, I pulled out a little tote bag of some sort. It was a Tony when like the I guess like the um give me a minute because it's wanting to shut down my computer and I don't want it to do that. I have control. Um it was a Tony brand T O N I like you would do the curlers and things and I think it was a curler pack but it was uh, about the right size that you would use it like for a um cosmetic bag or something like that but it washed up real nice it looked nice when i first saw it i thought it said tom's on there and then i went oh that was something else i got this little purse this is cute at least i'm gonna have to do some work on these a little bit but i just threw it in there with everything else and washed it those are cute i also have this let me pause you for a minute if I can find it. Well, I had to dig around. I didn't know where I put this. <laughs> if you saw my room right now, you'd understand. It looks like it blew up a thrift store. This is cute. I'm going to stand up. You won't get the whole effect unless I do. But this is really cute. It's a long tunic. Style crocheted vest, and it is extremely pretty. It's hard to tell on camera again. I'm not quite sure. But it's just got a real pretty pattern, and I called myself looking. Have not seen any breaks in the pattern, which is amazing because I pulled it out of the middle of the pile of whatever. I don't even really know what else was in that. But just really, really pretty. I pulled that one off. I showed you my hat. Oh. And I will probably keep this shirt. Life makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, that's my shirt. That's why I went to that pile, was to pull that shirt off. And it feels almost like that little cashmere feeling dress that I had or whatever. I thought that was kind of cool. But it's probably, like I said, it probably took me a total of about two hours, something like that, two, two and a half hours by the time start to finish to get everything done and all of that pulled out, sorted through, washed, all that kind of thing. So <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what happens with it. You should never pass by a trash pile. You never know what's going to be in there. And that was all laying out of bags. It wasn't in any bags or anything like that. I don't commonly go through bags unless it looks like that it's a bag of shoes or a bag of something. And then I'll just take the whole bag home if I'm in my van. If I'm in Miss Daisy, I don't because it's the car I like to leave cleaned up and she's got too much cloth inside herself. So I don't really want to take her um, on those type of trips. And I was in the car this time. So thanks for joining me. I know I'm crazy, but you know have money in the bank that way. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Share, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you supporting my channel and supporting me. Happy junking and happy trash stashing. <laughs>